Ever since you were a kid, you were told that dinosaurs roamed the earth millions of years ago. But how do scientists know this? How do we know that dinosaurs didn't exist 10,000 years ago? Well, we know that dinosaurs at some point went extinct, and they did leave some evidence with fossils. Fossils on the same level as each other are said to be from the same time period. This goes for rocks as well. Igneous rock, which is rock formed from cooled magma and cooled lava, contains different types of isotopes. Isotopes are different versions of an atom with different number of neutrons. If an atom has too many neutrons, it becomes unstable and starts to decay into another more stable atom. It is impossible to predict how long a single atom will transform into another one, but it is possible to predict how long a large group of atoms will take to transform into another. Every unstable isotope has something called a half-life. Half-life is the time it takes for half of the isotopes in the group to turn into a more stable form. For example, uranium-235 has a half-life of 710 million years. Because igneous rock contains unstable isotopes of uranium-238 and 235 and potassium-40, you can measure the number of particles that it should have versus the number of particles it has. This is known as radiometric dating. For example, potassium-40 turns into argon-40 and calcium-40. Now, calcium is usually not used in radiometric dating. It's typically the argon that's measured. Scientists can measure the amount of trapped argon gas inside the rock to figure out how old it is. The more argon, the older it is. Unfortunately, fossils aren't found in igneous rock because the magma would have just destroyed the bones. Fossils are found only in sedimentary rock. So in order to find how old a dinosaur fossil is, you would have to find sedimentary and igneous rock that are close to each other and at the same level so we know that they're from the same time period. Scientists can then use that radiometric dating method from before to find out how old that rock layer is, thus finding out how old the fossil is. Scientists have used this method to find how old all sorts of rocks are. That's how we found the rock on the moon to be about 4.5 billion years old, which helps to confirm that the moon used to be part of Earth, which is also around 4.5 billion years old.